Shark fans and Islanders, welcome back to another video. Just a quick one today, really. So, had a look at the Shark Checker app this morning, and a few of you guys had noticed as well that a, a great white shark called Bob, who is a 13 foot, 1300 pound adult white shark, has traveled across the Atlantic, apparently, uh, further than Nakumi. Now, for those who don't know, Nakumi sparked mass hysteria amongst the media. I did a video on it earlier on in the year when basically she uh, was crossing the Atlantic, she's tagged, she's a large shark. Uh, it never happened to be that way, but you know, nobody seems to have picked up on this. I have sent O-Search a tweet just to check it's not a glitch in the matrix because this shark was only tagged for the first time, oh, last month. So, I mean, it seems a very large distance to travel in a month, but that's what the Shark Tracker is uh, telling us, that it's gone this far. For those who don't know, the Shark Tracker app is free. Android iOS. Yes, I believe they are backed by SeaWorld, which is a bone of contention. However, they tag great white sharks and anything to do with great white sharks and I'm there, so it suits me. I'm by no means affiliated with these guys. However, I do talk to them on a regular basis. Uh, interestingly, and I did post this on a community thread and on Instagram, they're gonna do the Eastern Atlantic, uh, tag white sharks just off British shores as well. So they obviously think there's enough in it to to come this far and see what's here. That's gonna be very exciting because if they do tag any, then we're gonna see if they ping around Great Britain. That could be a game changer. Part of obviously the expedition where I'm gonna go out and look for great white sharks. Uh, we have quite a big boat lined up for that. So this is by no means that. However, something I'm thinking of doing to progress the channel as well as myself, is to buy a boat like this one, a warrior, uh, just a 16 or 17 foot boat or something like this one behind me Quicksilver 500, just for one day expeditions really, because I don't think it's, you know, it's not feasible to think we're gonna go out and find great white sharks the first time we go out there. This is something I wanna work on quite often. I think the waters between where I live and Wales host certainly big Mako sharks, uh, and who knows what else. Uh, like we say, no one's really done something like this in a long time, so it's quite exciting to see what marine life we do have here. 10,000 subscribers now, so thanks guys. Appreciate every one of you uh, for joining along on the journey. Like I say, I do try to respond to most of your comments. I've, I've also been chatting to about five or six marine biologists and a couple of shark experts about the expedition. Uh, there's some really good information out there, and you know, when we come to fruition, I'll talk more about it, but one of the tests is we can do something called eDNA, where we sample the water and it can tell us what species have been in the water. Uh, I don't know how accurate it is, but you know, it'd be quite good to get a ping off a great white. Also, uh, the geology of the actual seabed, uh, what similarities there are to places like South Africa and Nova Scotia, where Bob the shark was tagged. Uh, but yeah, just a quick update really. And uh, like I say, I always try to give you guys updates when I hear them about these sort of things, because they do interest certainly me and others. So. Hope you find this informative and uh, the next video is going to be a banger. I've already filmed it actually, I've just got to edit it. But it's, um, it's all about why I think conditions in Britain are perfect for great whites. Uh, we're going to talk about water temperatures and all the hot spots, such as uh, South Africa, other places, Australia. We're also going to talk about some of the shark attacks in 2021 uh, that have occurred already. And uh, also a sub-Antarctic shark attack for those who think that British waters are too cold for great whites and food sources, seals, uh, foraging fish, etc. It's an absolute banger. So that's coming out next week. Okay, as always, stay safe and uh, keep me informed of any uh, sharky information. And if anybody knows much about boats, uh, by all means, please get in touch. I've got a rough idea what I want, but I'm not entirely sure uh, what's gonna work out best. So cheers guys, catch you on the next one.